first choice in the 2004 NFL Draft, Eli Manning, quarterback, Mississippi. As the number one pick in the NFL Draft, Eli Manning followed in the footsteps of his brother Peyton, the number one pick of the Indianapolis Colts in 1998, and his father Archie, the number two selection of the New Orleans Saints in 1971. And it wouldn't be long before Eli began to make his own mark in the NFL. We got win! Win on three, baby! One, two, three, three! Eli led the Giants into the playoffs in 2005 and 2006, and in 2007's NFC Championship game, he turned in one of the guttiest performances in New York Giants history. Welcome to Lambeau Field in Green Bay for the NFC Championship game. Second coldest game ever at Lambeau Field, minus one degree with a wind chill of minus 23. Under the worst conditions and in front of a hostile crowd, Eli threw for 251 yards and no interceptions. A heroic performance that set the table for a dramatic overtime finish. Kick on its way, end over end. Does it have the distance it is? Good! Yeah. Yeah. Lawrence Tynes has kicked the Giants to the Super Bowl! In Super Bowl 42 against the undefeated New England Patriots, Eli led the Giants to one of the greatest upsets in NFL history. Brady gets set, takes the snap, back to throw, lobs one right for Moss, touchdown! The Patriots have the lead with 2.42 to go. We're down four and, and there's only one option. You know, the, the score's got to be 17 to 14. 17 14, fellas. One touchdown, we are world champions. Eli orchestrated a last minute drive, highlighted by one of the most memorable plays in Super Bowl history. Manning takes the snap, back to throw, under pressure, avoids the rush, and he's going to fight out of it, still fights out of it, now throws it deep downfield. Tyree, who makes the catch. What a play by Manning. And as Giants fans celebrated, Eli calmly delivered the game winner. Manning calling signals, takes the snap, looks left, lobs it left, first is wide open, touchdown Giants! in the left corner of the end zone. Touchdown. And that is it. The New York Giants have knocked off the New England Patriots 17-14. At first, it's just chaos. You're hugging everybody and you're, you're, you're around. There was kind of a moment right before um, I got up on stage and I'm kind of sitting there just waiting and no one can get to me. And that's kind of when it just, it all kind of sunk in for the first time. It's, we just won the Super Bowl. In 2007, Eli Manning was named MVP of Super Bowl 42 in the Giants' 17-14 victory over the previously unbeaten New England Patriots. In 2008, Manning led the Giants to a 12-4 record, the best in the NFC, and he was named to the Pro Bowl. And as the 2011 season began, Eli was poised to prove once again that he was one of the league's top signal callers. Is Eli Manning an elite quarterback? Are you a top five top 10 quarterback yeah I think uh, I am are you in the Tom Brady class yeah I mean I, I consider myself in, in that class there was such a direct question it was like do you consider yourself a, an elite quarterback a top five quarterback in, in the NFL and I think like I think any athlete you, you you always do you think like hey this I'm a I can win every game I can make every throw I can you know I've won a championship already we can win I know we can win championships in week nine, New York traveled to New England to face the Patriots. Trailing by three with under two minutes to play, Eli calmly drove the Giants down the field to steal the victory. Manning back to throw. Throws the seam. Ballard makes a twisting catch. What a catch by Ballard. On that fourth quarter drive, we're down, kind of a two-minute drive. He had a great third down catch, you know, yeah, over the middle, the kind of, you know, high above his head. That was a huge, you know, huge play right there. And then we get down to the two-yard line and have a little play action, hit him in the corner of the end zone for, for the touchdown. Manning's going to throw. Throws it left to the end zone. Touchdown, Giants! Jake Ballard! Anyone who doubts whether or not Eli Manning has the stuff. Eli oh. looked pretty elite here. When you have fourth quarter, two minute drives wins, that, that is a team win. Well, I don't want to wait till the fourth quarter to do it, but if we get in that situation again, we got to believe that we are going to win. In week 14, New York traveled to Dallas for a must win game against the Cowboys. Down by 12 points midway through the fourth quarter, Eli once again delivered big in the clutch. 
We're down two scores late in the game. You know, I hit Jake Ballard for a touchdown. Manning takes a low snap. It's back to throw. He looks middle, he throws middle to the goal line. Touchdown, Jake Ballard. With 3.14 to go, the Giants are still alive. You know, I hit uh, Keem Nix on a couple corner routes. Flushed right out of the pocket. He's going to throw it to the sideline. Good catch inside the 10 to the 8. To Jake Ballard over the middle. This is as good a quarterback performance in the clutch with the season on the line as I have seen in a long, long time. We run it in, you know, take the lead. Second and goal at the 1 for the lead, a minute to go. Hand off Jacobs, he runs right, follows his blockers to the goal line, touchdown Giants! Eli Manning is doing the impossible again. And then, the, you know, they drive down, they got a chance to kick the field goal. Snap is good again. Kick on its way and it's blocked! Blocked by the Giants! And it bounds into the end zone and through the back of the end zone and the Giants will win it! The thrilling win in Dallas ignited the entire team. And New York closed out the regular season with two decisive victories at MetLife Stadium. Manning back to throw. Looks, throws one to the right, completes it to the right for a first down, and running out of a tackle down the right sideline is Victor Cruz, chased by Smith, hurdles over him, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown Giants, 99 yards! This is our turn, this is our turn! We're 60 minutes from being NFC East champion. Manning's in a shotgun set. Takes the snap. They roll him left. He throws it left. Cruz has got it. Down the left side. Let he goes. Across midfield to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown, Victor Cruz. 74 yards, and he's done it again. He's going to throw it left for Nix. Touchdown, Giants. The New York Giants are the NFC East champions. Great job of finishing now. Great job of finishing this part of the season. And now we go, man. We go. We play Atlanta at 1 o'clock on Sunday. Let's go. Let's get ready. First playoff game in MetLife Stadium. Can't get no better weather. Can't be no better team. Can't get no better teammates. All in the day. We knew the formula for us to play our best football is for us to have a lead and let the pass rushers be pass rushers. Keem Nix played played off the charts early on. I threw him like a little underneath route, and you know he goes and breaks tackles. There goes Nix. Gallops over another. He's gonna score. 20, 10, 5. Touchdown Giants. 72 yards. Has another great catch in the back of the end zone. A little play action. Slants one right to the end zone. Touchdown Giants. A Keem Nix. But obviously, the, the really the plays of the game were the fourth and ones. Here comes Ryan to the line, fourth and inches. Empty backfield, Jones in motion, Ryan's gonna keep it. He got stopped, he didn't get there! Second time today, they've been stopped on fourth and inches by the big blue defense. You have a good drive, you get no points, it's just, it's just demoralizing. And then when we can get the ball on offense right after that and, and go score. down and score, I mean, that's a game changer. Yeah. High post, and it's caught for the touchdown! Mario Manningham with the touchdown. Well, the New York Giants are on to the divisional round and a trip to Green Bay against the Packers. We played them early in the season, and it was a high-scoring game, so we knew we could score against them. We knew we could move the ball and score. And, you know, it was really just, hey, can we outscore Aaron Rodgers and, and that offense? Early on, hit a keen nick on a little in-breaking route. He's back to throw. He has time, fastball over the middle, caught inside Packer territory. Nix runs out of a tackle. He's in the 35-30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Giants! You know, so we got off to a good start, get that, and then defensively causing turnovers left and right. And they all were getting, you know, sacks. And then obviously, you know, right before halftime, there's just a few seconds left, and we, you know, we throw a, a Hail Mary, and Akeem Nix goes and, and catches it for half. Manning back, steps up, heaves one down the middle of the field, into the end zone, and Nix makes the catch for the touchdown! He went up with the big hands and caught it on the Hail Mary on the final play of the half! I mean, we go in the halftime. I mean, we're, we're rolling, I mean, we're jumping, we're celebrating, we're feeling good. And again, we kind of have created what we knew we needed, a lead. But again, the second half, more fumbles, more turnovers. Brandon starts running the ball hard and, and has a big run towards the end of the game to just to expand the lead yep. and really, really knock it out. And off Jacobs, cuts back to the right. Jacobs turns the corner at the 10. He's to the 5, to the goal line, touchdown Giants! And that 14-yard run is sent the Giants to San Francisco and the NFC Championship game. We really were playing 
kind of playoff football since week 14 of the season. And I think everybody just kind of had that all in, that all in mentality. From high atop a rainy candlestick park in San Francisco, California, it's the NFC Championship game as the New York Giants take on the San Francisco 49ers. You go against the San Francisco team, it's totally opposite than the week before going against Green Bay. We wanted to run the ball, and we just couldn't. Like every time we run the ball, we lost two yards. So I think finally, you know, Kevin Gilbride's like, well, we're not running it anymore. We're just, we're going to throw it, and we'll figure it out. Facing the NFL's top-ranked defense, Eli Manning was sacked six times. But he picked himself up and answered the bell every time. And now he's going to get planted and sacked from behind by Alden Smith. Like, I, I was always try to get up as fast as possible. You're, you're playing a NFC Championship game. You know, there's, like, there was never going to be a doubt whether I was getting up or not. Manning threw for 316 yards and two touchdowns. Bear Pasco with the touchdown catch and he gave the Giants the lead midway through the fourth quarter. Manning back to throw, he zips one to the left to the end zone, touchdown Giants, Mario Manningham! But the 49ers tied the score, sending the game into overtime, where the Giants' special teams broke San Francisco's heart once again. Williams, from his own 20, lost the ball, and the Giants say they have it, and they do! And then we get times kicks up field goal to put us back in the Super Bowl. From 31 yards to put the Giants in the Super Bowl against the Patriots. Snap is low, kick on its way, it's got the distance and it is good! And Lawrence Tynes has done it again, he's kicked the Giants to the second Super Bowl in four years. <laughs> We're going to Super Bowl! We're going to Super Bowl! Congratulations Giants, we're going to the big one again! Yeah! New York Giants football is on the air. It's the New York football Giants and the New England Patriots Super Bowl 46. We had this all-in mentality for the last six, seven weeks, and I didn't, I didn't want that to end. We had to keep that all-in mentality going. Like We could not afford to relax. Eli completed his first nine passes, breaking a Super Bowl record previously held by former Giants quarterback Phil Simms and New York raced out to a nine-point lead early in the game. Manning back to throw, throws one left, touchdown Giants, Victor Cruz on the slant. And he does the salsa in the Patriots end zone. But Tom Brady responded by completing 16 consecutive passes, and the Patriots scored 17 unanswered points to take the lead in the third quarter. Back to throw, he looks right, throws it over the middle, completes it over the middle, and he's got Hernandez for the touchdown. And once again, Eli Manning was called on to lead the Giants to victory in the game's final minutes. The last two times we've played the Patriots, we've gone down there and scored touchdowns. Manning out of the shotgun set, and he's back to throw. Climbs the pocket, deep ball down the left sideline, and it's going to be caught. Was he inbounds? Yes! Manningham on the sideline. That's a heck of a throw and a heck of a catch by Mario Manningham. I was looking to my right, and they had, you know, kind of doubling Akeem and Victor and had them blanketed. So it was really kind of like, I'm going to look to Mario. He was running. He was full speed. Patrick Chung kind of had cheated him, I think, with my eyes looking right and saw, you know, a little window and let her fly. That was like a, such a huge play in a two-minute drive and you get a chunk play right off the get-go. Like, we're backed up at our own 10-yard line and now we're across the 50. And then they, they get aggressive. They're coming out blitz zero. Good I hit play. a slant to Akeem. Nix has got it inside the 20 and tackled at the 18-yard line. Do we check to screens and you know they go covered two one time? We run the ball like you know whatever they were doing, we had the answer. Yeah. And we get close, and they're gonna let us score, right? They're gonna they, they let us score. And off Bradshaw, he runs up the middle. Oh, and he falls into the end zone for the touchdown. He thought about stopping. Why not take the lead? We got 57 seconds to go. We probably did give the Patriots the ball back with a little bit more time than we, we wanted to. Brady's back, Brady's under pressure, Brady's chase, Brady heaves one down the middle of the field into the end zone, a jump ball. I kind of see the ball, you know, get hit and then I lose it. And then finally a second later, I kind of see it dribbling on the ground. Incomplete and the ball game's over and the Giants have won Super Bowl 46. Finish is what Tom Coughlin said, and the Giants have finished off the Patriots for the second time in four years. Just such a fun ride there to you know rise to the occasion and so many opportunities to 
to win. The fact, you know, winning three games in a row at the end of the season just to get us into the playoffs and to obviously cap it off with the victory. And it's, you know, just the feeling you have for your family, for your friends, for your the ownership, and for each player. I mean, that's just pretty special. Eli Manning played eight more seasons for the Giants and was named to the Pro Bowl in 2011, 2012, and 2015. And in 2017, he won the Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year Award. As players in the NFL, we have a global platform to play a game we love and influence an untold number of people. We have a unique opportunity to make a difference. I challenge everyone here to help some person in need. You choose, but go out of your way to make a difference in someone's life. I promise you it's worth it. After playing 16 seasons in the NFL, Eli Manning retired as the Giants' all-time leader in passing yards, passing touchdowns, and pass completions. And he'll always be remembered as one of the greatest players in franchise history. Good morning and thank you for being here and saying goodbye to someone who has been everything you could ask a player to be. And please know this, no Giant will ever wear number 10 again. I retired at the end of 2019, and a memory that stuck with me as I walked to the podium was taking the field against the Dolphins for my final game as a Giant in front of the New York faithful home crowd. All eyes on Eli Manning. Could this very well be the final time he jogs through that huddle? There won't be any more tunnel moments for me, and I'll truly miss them. Standing in the shadows, surrounded by my teammates, hearing the first roar of the crowd, triggering the knowledge that we had been given one more opportunity to go win a football game. Manning on a play fake, looks right, throws right. Pass is caught by Tate. Boy, that's a great throw there by Eli Manning. Backs into the end zone for a touchdown. No one has loved and appreciated wearing the Giants uniform more than I have, and that will never change. Chargers and the Giants have exchanged draft picks. From the very first moment, I did it my way. Don't worry about mistakes, just play hard. Everything's gonna work out, all right? Just, we gotta win. And I hope that I've represented the organization the way that you wanted me to for my first day. Throws it over the middle, touchdown, Shockey! To my last. Standing over center, back to throw. Has time, nobody's open now. Throws it left into the end zone, touchdown, Giants! It's rare to have the privilege of playing an entire career with one organization. I'm proud to be one of the few, but even more so than it was as a Giant. Eli Manning's final start in the Giants and a nine-game losing streak. And now he's being serenaded here at MetLife Stadium. As the clock ran down, I ran to my favorite place in the stadium, the tunnel. I waved to our loyal fans. That was my farewell, and a moment I'll cherish forever. Wellington Mara always said, once a Giant, always a Giant. For me, it's only a Giant. Got it! And in 2021, the Giants paid the ultimate tribute to Eli when they inducted him into the Giants Ring of Honor and retired his number 10 jersey. We now welcome you into our Ring of Honor and tell you that no Giant will ever wear number 10 again. Being a part of the New York Giants organization has been one of the great joys of my life. I'm indebted to so many wonderful coaches and great teammates. And last but not least, a big thank you to the great New York Giants fans. Thank you very much.